Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm gonna go over the different types of lochia that you wanna know for your maternity exams. So let's get started. What is lochia? Well, lochia is a term that's used to describe the vaginal discharge that occurs after childbirth. And as a nurse, it's essential that you monitor your patient's lochia during that postpartum period because it tells us a lot about what's going on with our patient. A couple things it's gonna tell us is, are they going to experience postpartum hemorrhage? How much vaginal discharge are they putting out? What does it look like? Do we have large clots? Also, it tells us if the patient may be experiencing an infection. What's the smell of the discharge? Foul odor could indicate we have an infection going on. First up is lochia rubra. This is the first type of discharge that we're gonna see immediately after birth. And let that word rubra help you so you can remember the color of this drainage. Rubra is Latin for red. So here's an example of what it can look like. It's gonna be like bright red and have small little clots in it. It lasts about three days postpartum and you're gonna see it postpartum days one to three. So what are those characteristics of this type of lochia? It's going to be a heavy flow that covers one pad about every one to two hours during those first 48 to 72 hours. It will have an odor similar to monthly menstruation, so a slightly metallic smell. There may be small clots present, and it consists mainly of blood, mucus, and tissue fragments. Now what's abnormal is if you detect a foul odor, this could indicate infection. If the patient is soaking through more than one pad per hour, this is totally abnormal and requires more investigation. Or if one pad is being soaked in less than 15 minutes, this is an emergency and the patient is experiencing postpartum hemorrhage and they need treatment immediately. Also, it's abnormal if they're passing clots larger than a ping pong ball. This could indicate retained tissue or a complication like a hemorrhage. Next is lochia serosa. This is a pinkish brown discharge and it's gonna last anywhere between seven to 14 days. Therefore, you're gonna see it on postpartum days four to 10. And it's gonna have the following characteristics. A moderate flow that will cover one pad about every four to five hours, but decreases in amount over a few days. It will be odorless or have a slight sweet odor little to no clots will be passed, and it consists mainly of fluid, hence serum, old blood, and mucus. During this time period, what would be abnormal is that you start to see an increase in the amount of flow, because this time it should start decreasing. Or if it changes back to bright red, this could suggest new bleeding, retained placenta, or infection. There's an increase in the number and size of clots passed, and that it has a foul odor. This could indicate infection. And then lastly is lochia alba. So when we start to see this type of drainage, that tells us we're getting towards the end because once this drainage goes away, the patient shouldn't have any more drainage until their next monthly menstruation cycle. So take a look at that word alba. Alba is Latin for white. And this is sort of how this drainage looks. It's gonna be a whitish yellow. So it lasts about 12 or plus days. Therefore, you're gonna see it on postpartum days 11 up to six weeks. Now it will have the following characteristics. A light flow that can be contained on a pad or a panty liner. No foul odor, there should be no clots pad and it's mainly gonna consist of mucus white blood cells and minimal to no blood. It would be abnormal if during this time period we have an increase in the amount of flow. It changes in color like it goes back to red or any un usual colors and there's presence of clots. Okay, so that wraps up this review. Now, if you're taking maternity nursing and you're looking for a study guide to help you understand some of those most tested topics, you may wanna check out my newly released study guide on maternity nursing. You can get digital copies at nursesarah.com or a paperback copy like this on amazon.com.